Organized labor has made clear its intention to strike on October 10th if demands for government to halt illegal mining are not met. A declaration of a state of emergency and the revocation of legislative instruments that permits mining in forests are among major demands. A plea from the president for the strike to be shelved has been strongly opposed. General Secretary of the Ghana National Association of Small Scale Miners, Godwin Ama, is worried about the negative impact of the intended strike. Then when it comes to organized labor, we also said government should treat it as a matter of agency to give them some signals that show that they are really working together to find a lasting solution to this illegal mining activity. It's not just, it, it, it did not start just one day. And I know every Ghanaian knows that for us to be able to resolve it, it will not take a day. But we need to engage. And this time, organized labor, governments, most key miners, and other sectors, we should look at it in a holistic way. And when it comes to its implementation in terms of the solution, it should not be politically led. Already, the association has activated its tax force to fight persons perpetrating illegality on river bodies. They want the government to support with personnel and logistics to embark on the mission. We are working with the media coalition, we are working with the other NGOs for us to be able to police. The district assemblies are helping now. Uh, just yesterday, the chamfans on the rivers around some part of the eastern region, the task force went with police because you need to get the police to be part of the whole operation. So that's why we are calling on government that bring the water guards. You've trained them with taxpayers' money. Let them partner with the association and the police. And at every local level, we'll be able to reduce the uh, dredges. The group believes mining leases should be granted to small-scale miners, but insists forests must be exempt. Be and the minister should also sign licenses. You know, people talk about if you sign licenses, you are giving chance for uh, people to mine and then the degradation will go. If the licenses are not signed, how do you able to monitor and know who and who are in the space and working and how are they working? So the minister should consider signing the licenses that are there for these small scale miners to do their business in a legitimate way. For Joy News, Nanaya Ujima Kumasi.